There's a big disparity between working in an office at my desk on my laptop or desktop, having two gigantic monitors and a third screen, the primary screen, and then unplugging, taking this computer somewhere else like a coffee shop or a client site where I don't have multiple monitors. I often feel very cramped after I get to a new space and I have to work within the confines of a single monitor. It's kind of a luxury having multiple monitors. Whenever I had one monitor, I was fine with it. But then when I got a second monitor, <laughs> I got really used to having two. And now that I have three, well, it sounded like that was going somewhere. So if I get four, does that mean I'm gonna get used to having four? Anyway, I've always dreamed about having multiple monitors when I'm at a coffee shop. I know, I know, it's it's kind of weird when you think about it, having multiple monitors. I didn't want to be that weird guy with a multi-monitor setup at a coffee shop. So I've always avoided it. Plus, the cost was kind of prohibitive. But now, these panels have come down in price a lot. So I was considering getting one, and then a company reached out to me, a manufacturer of one of these portable triple monitors, LeMink, asking me if I want to review one of their units. So I agreed to it on the condition that uh, I'm not getting paid. That way I can review it and be impartial about it. And I also don't want to keep the product because that'll affect my review. I didn't want any kind of bias in it. So I told them that I will not keep it and that I will give it away to you folks. So for the last month and a half, whenever I went out of the house, I brought it with me. And this product has its ups and downs. One of them is pretty evident by the fact that you need to buy a separate case. Luckily, I already had a nice case from a 13 inch MacBook Pro or you know, it's a 13 inch size case. So it fits those monitors in there perfectly. Nice and snug, they don't move around. And this just goes into my laptop bag and it weighs about as much as a laptop. I'll talk about weight in a minute here. Let's pop this open and take a look. This is it. I've had this in my videos recently and some of you have been asking about it. So now I'm going to go through the details here. Now I know if you've watched some other channels, there's been some drama about these kinds of panels and companies cloning other people's products. I mean, come on, who wins in the end here? The consumer, we win. The prices go down, competition is good, and this is not exactly a complicated thing to put together. You just basically put two panels on hinges and then some kind of mechanism to adjust to different size laptops that's all so copycats there's always going to be some for every product if it's a product as simple as this sure there's some differences between them and there's differences in prices too that range from pretty high let's see i'm on amazon now there's some for six hundred dollars three 99, 617. Here's one for almost $700. This one falls in the middle range around three something. I'll leave a link to Amazon down below. So what are some benefits here? Well, you do get more monitors, <laughs> obviously. But what's really cool is that I thought I was gonna have to go and configure this thing, but you just plug it in and it works right away. It immediately extends the screen. You can of course go into display settings and adjust the scaling, adjust the positioning of the screens relative to the main screen, which I actually had to do um, at one point, it thought that the monitor on the left was actually the monitor on the right, and the monitor on the right was the monitor on the left, so I had to go in there and switch them up. There's also lots of plug-in options. There's USB-C, you can have USB-C with power or without power, but then you'd need to figure out a way to power it through another USB-C connection probably. But it does take power right from the laptop, so there's that. There's also the HDMI option for each of the monitors. And by the way, the unboxing was actually a pretty nice experience. It's really well packaged, and I appreciate that because that kind of tells me that the company cares about the user experience in the end. Even though we're only interacting with the packaging once, it leaves a nice impression. So when I first popped it open, I thought, this is kind of weird. How do you open this thing? It doesn't unfold from the middle. It kind of opens up to a Z shape, which is not immediately obvious how to use. And I was going to put that under a con because one of the sides is always exposed. And that's one of the reasons why I have to have a case. However, I'm changing my mind about that because this allowed me to actually fold in one of the screens behind my main screen and use only one of the monitors if I needed only one, which in the long run will actually save batteries and give me the flexibilities of using either one monitor or both. Oh, did I mention the magnets? Yeah, so whenever these monitors close, they're actually held there by magnets. That's pretty smart. And one thing I didn't discover until just now, <laughs> feeling it around, because I only tried this on my MacBooks, which have a really thin monitor and th really thin lid. The attachment piece actually is spring-loaded and it can handle hanging on pretty thick panels. It looks like up to a half an inch. I'm, I didn't measure it, but that's what it looks like. So it expands and it's spring-loaded. It can handle thin screens or really thick screens. All right, let's talk about some of the negatives here. It's heavy. It uh, weighs 
probably as much as my MacBook Pro. So imagine carrying two MacBook Pros around. If you have two MacBook Pros, maybe you can just set those up on a desk. I don't know. <laughs> well, actually you could with universal control, you could do that, but that would look even more strange in a coffee shop. Now, of course, if you're on a Mac, you can always use your iPad, if you have one, to extend your screen using the sidecar feature, but you won't be able to scale. And I found that sidecar sometimes disconnects, which is kind of unfortunate. You also get only one extra screen unless you have, well, two extra iPads. So yeah, there's the weight. And the weight is not only carrying weight. The weight of the whole unit means that when it's hanging on your monitor, if you like to lean your monitor too far back while you're working, it's going to possibly drag that monitor down. They do provide a little foot stool that comes out like this and a little knob there that lets you set the height of that footstool and i found that i had to use that every single time i use the monitor which could be a little awkward you'd have to reach behind it and pull out the footstool adjust it to the proper height but once it's set up it's fine another thing i found strange is that this is not a mirror image design they manufactured these panels but they didn't manufacture two different ones it's the same panel just flipped upside down and attached to the other side, which means that all these connections here are not mirrored on the other side, rather they're just flipped over. So when this is standing up on one side, the connections are gonna be at the top and on the other side, the connections are gonna be at the bottom, which could be a little confusing, especially if you're using the power USB option, you're gonna need to remember which one is which and to be able to know to flip it on the other side. I mean, not a huge problem after you get set up, but the setup part is a bit annoying and of course as i mentioned before one of the cons is that this will eat up your battery power from your laptop so if you're using an older intel based laptop just think it's gonna last instead of an hour 30 minutes now if you're not plugged in <laughs> okay i kid i kid but i did find that when i was using it with my m1 max macbook pro which is an apple silicon machine which lasts a long time by itself the battery was not draining too fast i was able to work for four hours straight without any problems and there was plenty of battery left so i've always wanted a monitor like this to have with me on the go and i kind of knew that products like that existed out there and amazon i've seen them i've browsed through them but the prices have always seemed really high and maybe not worth it or maybe they were worth it but i wasn't willing to try it out and to pay for it 600 dollars just to try it out and see if i would like it or not i was suffering having only one monitor on the go it's a really nice monitor because i have the macbook pro 16 inch but i always wished there was an extra monitor on the side or two to do my work to spread my windows back and forth and have some windows here, have some windows there, be able to snap them and you know, the typical things you can do with three monitors. Now that they've sent me this thing, I gotta say that having it out and about while the setup is a little bit wacky and cumbersome, once you're set up and you're going and you're working and you ignore everybody staring at you, <laughs> then it's actually quite a nice experience. Is it worth the amount of money? Well, these things are always coming down in price because like I said, it's not that complicated a piece of equipment. I would say that I would buy one if it had one extra monitor. This one does have two monitors built in and I found myself often only using one of the monitors when I was on the go instead of both of them. So I would probably prefer to spend a little bit less and get one extra monitor on the side instead of spending more and having the two extra monitors. But for those times that I would need two extra monitors, and I occasionally run across those moments when I have that need, and then it's always nice to be able to snap out another monitor and have that available to you. All right, now a deal is a deal. I did say I was going to give this one away. So one lucky winner will walk away with this official rules down in the description i will pick a winner from the comments down below make sure you're a subscriber to the channel and i will announce the winner on my twitter page which is actually listed down there too in the description make sure you follow me so you don't miss that if you don't want it or if you missed the announcement i'll pick another winner maybe a couple of days after that all right that's it folks hopefully you enjoyed this one thanks a lot and i will see you next time